Welcome to my poster presentation. I will present my project three-dimensional rock microstructure modeling using two-dimensional SEM micrographs. So the motivation for this project is that three-dimensional images, although powerful, are very expensive, whereas two-dimensional images are both cheaper and more plentiful. Methods uh, used to reconstruct 3D microstructures from 2D images help advance uh, microstructure characterization and optimization, and can be applied in many fields such as material, pharmaceutical, and energy industries. The two methods that I've worked on for this reconstruction are texture synthesis and phase field function. For the first one, texture synthesis here, it is a reconstruction of a tight sandstone. Figure A shows the 2D SEM image of the sandstone. And the problem with this figure is that it is not representative, as in there are many parts of the image that we do not need. And only this small chunk right here is uh, necessary. So figure B right here shows this small part that we actually need, segmented off and sort of here and figure C is where the reconstruction happens. We reconstruct this small piece of the small image into this larger image and this figure C is both representative as in it has the material that we want and also is large enough. And figure D is a graph that shows uh, time versus coral size. As you can see by looking at the graph, it starts with a strong positive correlation, but then it turns into a negative correlation. So this figure here shows the time increase with image size. And as you can see, the time increases exponentially as the image size gets larger. So as a result, we need to find a new method because we don't want to spend all that time. So the next method that we're going to be looking at is phase field function. So Right here, this right here is a 2D SEM image, and this left column shows this 2D SEM image uh, being initialized with random numbers, whereas this right column shows this image being initialized with repeated numbers. So uh, this T right here is iterations, and as you can see, by 50 iterations, our image is already shaping up nicely. By 100, it's uh, formed. Uh, well enough. Now the random iterations actually takes less time than the repeated iterations. So in conclusion, texture synthesis can successfully reconstruct microstructure textures. The process works well but is uh, very slow. Optimization of this method is critical to expand it to handle large data in three. The tight carbonate and fractured rock show that phase field function is feasible and both uh, methods have validation that's underway.